Data analysts and data scientists spend an enormous amount of time looking for the data that fuels their projects. A key step in understanding the data comes from the ability to quickly see some basic stats around the data itself that holds those valuable insights. That's where the Calibra platform and its profiling capabilities come into play. I'll be covering some basic setup at the end of the video, but now I'll start looking at some results in the data marketplace after searching for customer data. I'll open a data set that looks interesting as it's certified and approved, and I'll jump directly to the columns tab. From here, I can already see some basic profiling, but I'm interested in a more granular level, so I'll open it directly in the data catalog. Right from this view, basic information of each column is displayed. Name, classification tags, description, and also some profiling information such as data type, number of rows, number of empty values, and chart view. For my analysis, I'm interested in quickly identifying the right data. Understand it and see if I need to clean it before I start doing some exploratory analysis. So for that, I can infer some basic quality health check with the number of empty values because I'm not interested in null data. For this analysis, I'll probably be interested in looking at sales amounts. So I'm gonna click on that column to dig a little bit deeper. Right from here, I can already see a frequency chart and a distribution chart, as well as some stats. To have a more detailed view, zoom in on the chart a little bit and even see some sample data. As a side note, our edge component will anonymize automatically all the columns with the data type text or geo for privacy reasons. Now, the stats displayed in this section will give me a bit more information regarding the data type, the column position, if it can contain null values, etc. You can check a list of all the basic stats displayed in the product documentation page. As we saw previously, I can quickly infer some basic data quality and identify whether or not this data is suitable for me or not. So I'll scroll down and see basic stats such as mean, minimum, and maximum values, as well as row counts, empty values, and uniques. With this, I know that this data is complete. I can confirm that the minimum and maximum values make sense, so there are no big outliers. And finally, that the most common value is 499. So our best-selling products fall into that price point. And this is really helpful for those use cases that data scientists and analysts really see a boost in efficiency thanks to the profiling capabilities that Calibra offers. With that, I can continue looking at the other columns or tables and request access immediately. As a last point, in order to set up profiling properly, you will need an edge site with the right profiling capability installed, a registered database, and configure the profiling and classification according to your needs.